I want you to take out your wallet, look inside and wish all of the cash in there a big happy birthday. Because on the weekend, our money turned 50. And to celebrate, we thought we'd take a look at how we ended up with them in the first place. Take a look. Ah, morning, what can I do you for? I'll have a pint of milk, 14 ounces of butter. Back in the old days, a trip to the shop could sound pretty complicated. That's because Australia used to have a completely different system of measuring things. Where do you hear it from? A few furlongs up the street and then about five miles... On top of that, we also had a different system for money. That'll be one pound, 16 shillings and 11 pence. The Australian pound, made up of pounds, shillings and pence, used to be Australia's official currency. Well, that was until this guy came along. In come the dollars, in come the cents To replace the pounds and the shillings and the pence Be prepared folks when the coins begin to mix On the 14th of February 1966 OK, so it wasn't all his idea. But Dollar Bill did have the job of convincing Australians that changing the Australian pound to the Australian dollar was a good idea. And in a lot of ways, it was a pretty easy sell. The Australian pound, based on the British pound, was created in 1910. Each pound was made up of 20 shillings, and each shilling was equal to 12 pence. So you can probably imagine doing even simple sums with this complicated money could get a bit tricky. Five and seven and one make 13 pence. 12 pence make a shilling. That leaves one penny. But carry the 12. Uh, uh, that's uh, one shilling. The decimal system was a much simpler option. 100 cents in every dollar. But there was another good reason to make the switch. By the early 1960s, 95% of the world's population was using a decimal currency. So converting them to Australian pounds was a bit of a nightmare. But not everyone was in favour of the change. Some people were used to using the old pound currency. The only thing that's going to cause uh, trouble, I think, with the majority of people is trying to convert the uh, dollars and etc. into Australian currency they've been used to. But most people were happy with the idea. So the government set up a period of two years where either currency could be used, making it a little easier for everyone to switch over. The old money gradually making way for the new. On top of that, many people really liked the design of the new currency. Our coins were crafted with these images of Australian native animals, and the notes reflected our culture and history. In fact, the main thing that people argued over was what to call the new currency. There were more than 1,000 suggestions, including the Austral, the Oz, the Boomer, the Roo, the Kanga, the Emu, the Koala, the Digger, the Zac, the Quid and the Dinkum. But in the end, we picked the dollar, which is probably a whole lot less confusing than this would have been. Hello. Today I'll have four Kangas worth of apples, please. Well, they're on special. You can take the lot for a Dinkum and a Digger. 